The thing about it being Adidas is like, I could literally say anti-Semitic and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Salam alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Well, family, it appears that book breaking ain't what it used to be. It's apparent that the modified modern white supremacist plantations of our time have overestimated the effect of disciplining their athletes and entertainers when they get off script and underestimated the financial Armageddon that they inflict on themselves. Kanye West has a long-standing partnership with Adidas, which began in 2013 with the launch of his Yeezy line of sneakers. The partnership was successful for both parties. And as you know, when Kanye said that the true Semitic people were black and he would go to what he called Death Con 1 on them folks who control our entire entertainment mind control machine who cannot be named, and he then proceeded to say that Adidas can't fire him, Adidas decided that they wanted to make an example out of Kanye for the rest of us off-script Negroes, but instead they ended up making a huge mess. The relationship between Adidas and Kanye has always been tumultuous to say the least. And even prior to this fracas, it was reported in People's Magazine website that in May 2022, Adidas released his Adelaide 22 sandals, which bear a bit of resemblance to West Yeezy slides. Thus, the rapper took to Instagram on June 13 to call out the brand according to High Snobbity. West reportedly said the now deleted caption that the slides are a fake Yeezy made by Adidas themselves. I'm not standing for this blatant copying no more, West continued per high snobbity, taking aim at Adidas CEO Casper Worsted. This is for everyone who wants to express themselves but feel they can't because they'll lose their contract or be called crazy. Back in 2019, Adidas celebrated what they called Yeezy Day, and according to this article, West reached out to Complex to say that the day isn't sanctioned by him at all. He wrote in a DM to the outlet, Adidas made up Yeezy Day without his approval, adding that the company reissued older Yeezy styles and colorways and brought in new employees specifically for the brand without consulting him. Back in September last year, West again called up top executives at Adidas, accusing them of stealing his ideas and leaving him out of important meetings regarding products and planning. To the creative director of Adidas, Alistair Willis, I've done songs with your father-in-law. How can you watch Adidas do what they've done to a fellow creative and not say anything and never even meet with me or call me? Why did I have to do this in public? West wrote that in an Instagram post, which he later deleted. Just a few hours later, West came back to Instagram to ask his fans to stop spreading memes about Alistair Willis. After this, West started getting support from the other plantation Negroes of the entertainment industry. Rapper T.I. took to Instagram on September 6th with a photo of one of Adidas' pair of sneakers that bear a striking resemblance to a pair of Yeezy sneakers. A red X is drawn over the photo, and T.I. wrote in the caption, Adidas is whack AF. I can't, I stand with yay. Right is right. This ain't it. Swiss Beats also shared a photo on Instagram with a similar message and he wrote, I usually mind my business, but this is dead wrong. If we let them do this to, to at Kanye West, it will happen to us also. And as usual, there's something more to this story, as usual. And here we see Kanye, he says, I really care about building something that changes the world and something that I can leave to my kids. They tried to buy me out for $1 billion my royalties next year are $500 million alone. The Adidas plantation owners have bitten off more than they can chew. Adidas tumbles as losses from its Kanye West venture pile up. This story is from the New York Times. Adidas shares fell more than 12% on Friday morning, wiping roughly 3 billion euros or about 3.2 billion in market value after the German sportswear giant it's issued its fourth profit warning in the past six months and said it expected big losses in 2023. The biggest culprit? 
the company's messy split last year with the musician Kanye West, which could knock about 1.2 billion euros off of full year sales and 500 million off its operating profit. Even greater loss, an even greater loss than Adidas had calculated just four months ago. See, now your plantation owners have to eat some humble pie. But wait, there's more. Adidas faces numerous challenges beyond its breakup with Ye. The company has been losing market share to Nike and other rivals. Its expensive pullout from Russia and prolonged weakness in China have weighed on sales. And this is the important part, its clothing partnership with Beyonce is also reportedly underperforming. Sales of the singer's Ivy Park line are well off company's internal projections, according to Wall Street Journal. You see, family, this is what happens when you are united. The reason, the real reason why Adidas, Adidas is bleeding money is because we all said that we are not buying from them. These plantation owners are trying to use every trick in the book and they are failing. Why? Because the black grassroots said, keep your shoes, keep your merchandise, keep your brand. We will spend our hard earned money on our own people. Remember when Kanye said that the royalties that he got last year alone was 500 million. That's a half a billion dollars. These folks tried to buy him out for $1 billion? Remember the Black Baseball League? Why did they die out? Because these white owners of the big leagues bought out all the black talent. Imagine if they had said, no, you will not have our talent. We keep it for ourselves. Def Jam Records, they did the same thing. A black owned record label that ended up breaking in billions for the people in which we cannot name. Black Lives Matter, imagine a grassroots organization to bring awareness to pro police brutality again, was bought out by them folks and is now a Trojan horse for the Apple alphabet people. But this is what they understand. They understand in a world of capitalism, capital wins. And if you sell capital and ownership for cash, you will lose. We, the black grassroots, have been telling you that the power in the capitalist society is in the capital. And as long as you are conscious and you are aware of where you spend your money, you will build your power. But if you keep spending your money all willy-nilly, all over the place, without a plan, without a strategy, you will always continue to lose. So the old buck-breaking tactics that do not have the same effect that they used to, and Adidas who decided to align themselves with the European Ashkenazi converts to Judaism, who don't even buy their product to begin with, they're taking L's like they've never seen before. Not even Beyonce could save them, because we said you guys are finished, and we won't support you. And even if you had a Malcolm X line of clothing, we would never spend our dollars with you. We don't have to like Kanye West. I don't like Kanye West. I think he's a colossal turd. But I'd rather much see us win than see him lose. No amount of old black liberal media telling us who we can or who we can't cancel or who we can or who we can't vote for will help you anymore. This is the new black media, and your days are numbered, alhamdulillah. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump.